She wouldn't clap after each poem. They kind of like, um, like. Mm. <laughs> and I feel like if you don't get the hmm, it's like, oh shit. Um, <laughs> Lowbrow! <laughs> um, <laughs> and these last two poems are actually joined, but I, I think also they're not really like things I'm celebrating or anything, just reflections, and they're quite, quite dark, um, a bit dark, not too dark. You know what I'm like, it's so dark, and somebody's like, it's not dark. Um, <laughs> they're just quite sad. Um, <laughs> And so please, uh, I'll just, I'll make it easy for you, but you won't, you won't feel like you even have to clap. So I'm just going to segue. Basically one long poem, but like two poems. <laughs> so this first one is called Amai Odzivara Sekwa, which was the township I grew up, grew up in, in Harare, which is the capital of Zimbabwe. Odzivara uh, Sekwa is like a very fascinating place, um, similar to the estate that I live on now, actually. Um, yeah. And then this last one, the one after that is called Mazoe, which is uh, where I was born. You learn to sing from your mother, who often sang for herself. You are a shadow, a dark corner, curls of smoke rising from your face. In the song, you only knew how to shudder in that thin space between brain and blood, dream and acidity. There's a recurring dream, family rumor, that you were born with gills, liquefied by your first cry turning fish baby like you into a girl child. Mwanasikana akaregera kushambira, karuraramiro kemoto karifi. Baby girl who gave up swimming, approached life as a parked car, still and switched off. Inherited her father's sins, a life of chasing east to west, when home is really sap, where the music punctuates milestones. You learn to sing from your mother. Way before the day she said, enough is enough and left. Her side of the wardrobe empty, save for the cotton top, silk bottom, white dress your baba bought her on the day they say you were born. Few weeks late, clinging to life, protected by water. Mazoe. Remember, your Amai was once a girl too, adolescent, a curious young being, with skin like salted caramel and a mouth full of salt, lemon and all things unsweet. Your mother was once a girl too, who like you knew how to squander a whole night's sleep on fantasy, to swap it for four days of broad deep slumber, through heartbreak, through the last sliver of light falling through the blinds soon after sunset she would tell you how hairless your head was stuck between her thighs for hours how the midwife told her swallow breathe before asking if her father's sisters hadn't taught her that real strong women birthed in silence tongues tucked behind gritted teeth the times she used belts, switches, extension cords for broken cups, curfew slips and other small things. You cried for her, mostly for yourself. Could never tell from those red welts if it was that you looked like your father or because birthing you almost killed her. Thank you. <laughs> 